Hello, today we're going to look at a tilt switch. So let me show you this one first that you probably shouldn't play with and then I'll show you how to build one. This is a thermometer from your house and it has right here a mercury switch. So the problem with this mercury switch is that it has mercury in it and mercury is some bad stuff. So you, if this broke open, you'd be in trouble. But if you notice that bead of mercury in there, and let me see if I can focus on that. As I wrote, as I move it, the mercury moves back and forth and it's a metal, so it does conduct. So by tilting this, I can make that mercury move over contacts and turn something on or off. Okay, so let's see how that works. So I have this hooked up to a little buzzer just to be annoying and that's hooked up to this battery and it does matter which way is positive so I have it going from there and then through if I connect this it'll go through that mercury switch okay so now when I level make this flat it turns on and then as I lift it up it turns off so when that drop of mercury comes in the front it turns on okay so that's one that you could the way this works this in this thermostat this has a, a metal strip here that heats up and turns this so that it turns a, your heater on or off or your air conditioner on or off that's how that works but again you don't want to play with this because it's it's nasty okay so let's make one here I have made my own version okay so this one doesn't use mercury. This is a cap to a marker, and I am heated up two paper clips with a match, a lighter, and I stuck it through there, okay? And then I put a ball bearing in there. So when that ball bearing rolls forward and touches these two paper clips, it will complete the circuit and turn something on. So here's how this works. So when this is like this, the ball's over here and it's not touching. And when it's like that, the ball is touching because it's touching those two things. Now you do have to be careful. Uh, it's possible that it could just touch one of those. Uh, so you might need to bend these a little bit. So here I have a tiny battery and an LED. And when this rolls forward, it turns on. It turns off. On, off. Well, the, you can't let the paper clips touch. Okay, and that is a very simple tilt switch. You could put this on a buzzer. You could tape it to something, a block, so that when you lift up the block, uh, the ball rolls forward and turns it on. You could have multiple tilt sensors, but there's your basic tilt sensor from a ball bearing and a cap and some paper clips. You know, MacGyver likes paper clips.